Let's go over how to use multi-target with the Kestrel Link Ballistics app. So we'll open up the Kestrel Link Ballistics app, we'll connect to our device, and when we see our device pop up, we'll click on it. And now as we're connecting, this is only available with the 5700 Elite models, so if you don't have an Elite, you won't see this option. Um, you could always upgrade to the Elite if you find these options beneficial to you. Um, just go to our site and complete the upgrade purchase. So now we're connecting and authenticated and we go to target card. Now there's two ways we could do this. The first is we can set the targets up in the Kestrel. I could click on get pull Kestrel data and all the targets that are in the Kestrel will become populated in the app with their solutions. Then we can click on the arrows at the top and actually look at the different parameters for each of the targets. Right now it's win 112, you got lead, and we go through them. Um, you can see the remaining velocity, remaining energy, and so forth. Now if we want to go the other way, we could also click on edit targets, and we can edit the targets right in the app. And when we click on that button, you can change your range and direction of fire. Um, if you notice the little icons next to each target, you could actually use your phone's compass to point at and get the direction of fire from the phone's compass as well. So we enter in some different parameters. And then the next thing is we send targets to the Kestrel. The Kestrel will do the computations and then we will get the updated solutions on the phone app. Finally, if you want to go and take all this data and export it, you can export this to an email address or there's various ways you can export it. It'll become like a CSV file where you can open up an Excel and have your own personal dope card that you can print out and have an actual hard copy of these 10 different targets and all their parameters.